Okay. Um, I'm going to... Where did it go? Oh, you... All right, so this is one of the guys here. We've got a negative five long-term fuel trim. A almost zero short-term fuel trim, which is good. Negative five is not good, but the other one's good. And then the mass airflow is 5.06. So in this particular case, we would not want to change the mass airflow sensor, right? Because you're dialed in real well. We want to change your injector. So you're going to go to your injector bank one. And you're going to modify it by M equals 0.95. Aim small, miss small. Okay, and then you'll do the same thing. Save it to your cob, and then uh, go back out there and try it again. Pretty exciting stuff, isn't it? Hey, Ken, I got a question for when we scaled mine. Yep. Uh, who's this? This is Isaac. Oh, hey. Uh, you want to go ahead and go next? Well, um, I still want to, I'm just kind of writing down all the all the steps that were involved. Um, so, again, when we selected the 1.09 for the voltage, for the voltage. were you looking at what my log was for the voltage or what the um, hmm. map was? What the log was showing. Yeah, so the log, are you looking at the... the... As long as you don't mess... Go ahead. Yeah, as long... You were showing it was like one point... I saw a 1.1 in, in your log yep. somewhere. So I just grabbed the 1.09. As long as you're not messing with the far left two, it doesn't really okay. matter. I wasn't sure if, that's, if you were looking at the, the math, trying to match up the math, or trying to match up the voltage. I mean, trying to match up the voltage yeah, I was just looking at for a second. Yeah, I was looking at the okay. voltage. All right, anybody ready to go? You all feel pretty good about what we're doing? Is it time for me to start drinking yet or what? Yeah, you want to go there? That's all you got, Wood. Take it easy, uh, Antavius. All right, we're going to do one of the more local guys here. So let me plug this thing in.
All right. So short-term fuel trims are low. Long-term fuel trims are also low. Well, this car even, was it fully warmed up? Yeah. You may have won the uh, lottery here. The idle lottery. Does it happen from time to time? You have the stock air intake? Your airflow is a little low. Eight twenty two. Yeah. <laughs> it's not supposed to work that way. They should use fact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Touche. Um, well, man, in this case, we have to change two things. We have to change your mass airflow and your injector if you want them to be the most accurate they could be. So I would change your mass airflow scale from uh, 1.09 on. All right, so you change your mass airflow scale uh, by 1.05. The mass airflow scale. It's the mass airflow calibration uh, table. Very close to the bottom of the list there. Mass airflow calibration table. Yep. And highlight the green cell below 1.09. And then hold down the shift key and go to the very end and highlight them all. It's all the part of the cells, right? yeah. Either all but, or in his case, you know, 1.9 is close enough. Okay, yeah. You just definitely can't change the first two. That's the hard and fast rule. Um, and then 1, 1.05 is your multiplication. Yep. Okay, then you're going to go to your injector number one. Injector latency Not the latency, the one above it. I should say injector bank one. Bank one oh yeah, bank one injector. Sorry. And then you're gonna multiply that one by one point. Oh no, I'm sorry. Way around. Point nine five. So the reason for the first one with mass airflow is to multiply it by one point zero five to increase the amount of reported airflow. Mm-hmm. Injector, we determined that we need to adjust the injector's body again. We, we wanted to make the injector a little bit smaller because otherwise it'll show a high positive fuel trim. Like you're both of them are at zero right now, so we want to just make small changes to both to give you a five grand per second of airflow and still keep your fuel trims at zero. Yep, you got it. So at 0.95, you want to come up with that, right? Yeah. All right. That's done. I'm going to go take another reading. Wait. Man, I lied to you again. Our injector always gets me. It's 1.05 on the injector. Okay, so I don't know where I'm going to find out. You can hit Control-Z and just undo the last one that you did. Turn, turn it back to green, yeah. All right, and multiply 1.05. I don't feel like an idiot because I told you that I do it all the time, so <laughs> I forewarned myself. 
we're making it bigger so it doesn't give as much fuel. fuel. Yeah. Yep. And that way we don't. The larger injector is going to be the amount of time it's going to be the same as the other Correct. Okay. How about the map? Anyway, I hit file load map. Yep. Or file save map. Dave. Down to negative point two nine. Negative point two nine? That's the sum. If you're in like Flynn, that's about as low as you can possibly get it. And that's the sum of the long term and the short term together? Uh, the long term got zero out. Okay, and the short term is negative point two nine. Yeah, you're in, man. The average uh, mass airflow is five point oh four nine. Yeah, there you go. You're on the money. Not without a lot of logging. You can chase your tail on this stuff basically forever. Oh yeah, bricking it. Yeah. So now that I saved it, I mean load it. You have to load it into your cob and then put it on the car. Yeah. Alright, so JB's out of here. Isaac, you still around? Isaac. He might be out relogging. Every time I see it, man, it puts me into an epileptic seizure. I always catch it out of the corner of my eye. I'm like. <laughs> Which one of those things that. If you look right at it, you're fine, but it just keeps catching my eye like all throughout the day, and I'm like, eh, yeah. moving stuff. Eh. Yeah. This one up here? Uh, this crazy looking guy right here? Yeah, it stopped moving. I got something to do. With my rum and coke. That's what I'm going to do. That's the other thing that I really like. <laughs> well, you, need, you need to continue to cruise south, brother. I can get a, I can get a bottle of rum for 11 bucks on base. Yeah, Ammo cost me 28 cents a round, and the pack of smokes cost me about 4.50. Yeah, I go to Vegas. When I'm in Vegas, I have friends that smoke it, and they want me to pick up cartons for them. So my yeah. suitcase is just like stuck yeah, yeah, like yeah. Yeah. like 9.99 per carton, mm -hmm. or not 9.99, like 49.99 a carton. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, 90 bucks. I have, I, have, I have no idea on the, like, I don't know the scale as far as the cost of the smoke go, but I know that a Canadian tin oh, is awesome. a fucking taste tester anywhere else. <laughs> like, literally given out as a taste tester yeah. in Texas. It's like, here. Here's, like, I think like 29 grams or something like that for chain tobacco or something like that. Yeah. It's tiny, right? And that's a uh, ten or fifteen dollar tin. Jeez. And the the big ones are like four times that, and they're like twenty five dollars. Wow. The other thing is the McDonald's over here for the stuff that keeps them up in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any more here is five thirty five. In Las Vegas, the same order. Yeah. Is four twenty five. Yeah. Get something. Get one of the hands another dollar. Come on, take it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got cheating yet. <laughs> yeah. It's all about. Oh, my God.
taxes. Oh my god. I was down here to become known for the next day. My wife and I were at our three general trip here. And uh, come down here, we're, we just we were down for a week, so we stopped in and had like Inco foods or something like that. Yeah, yeah, one of those kinds of places. Yeah, it's, it's, and we're, we're, in, we're behind this one project, we went obviously like, like after the yeah, Exactly, obviously doing like the weekly or whatever. She's stocking it up, she's got meat, she's got a full cart. And then again, I look at each other, we always play, play the prices right and try and gamble on how much that is <laughs> look at it and as far as canadian prices are concerned that was at 250 to 300 dollar a cart uh, yeah but it got <laughs> rung it got, it got rung through and our guesses were literally twice as much as what she actually paid. It's like 110 bucks. Oh. What we would consider $250. Yeah, like Costco and has five things like you're not a guy walking over 150 bucks. Yeah. I <laughs> oh, yeah. That even, uh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Five, five things, but your cart's full. I know. Look at this. Look at the two guys of men. Yeah. 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 Bring in 100 bucks at a wholesale club. It's so good. Link who I've been in a few times up here, just because I maybe run out of Mountain Dew or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just because it's close. <laughs> but, yeah. All right. Usually just go out and hold the safe way. I literally, I could not understand how it's that cheap to eat food. What's your guys' uh, sales tax rate? Uh, provincially, it's, it's at the football. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> seven, seven years <laughs> is 5 percent yeah, no kidding. You guys pay income tax too? Yep. 29% for the highest tax bracket. Oh. The highest tax bracket is $139,000. Awesome. Yeah. Ours goes up to 45%, or at least it used to. Last time I was in a high tax bracket. I think our effective tax rate gets up that high because of all the, the, yeah. the stealth taxes, like the fuel tax and all the crap. Yeah, I'm talking about just your income tax rate, 45%. Back when I was a project manager for the Beanstalk Group, my yuppie scum days, I didn't own a house, 19 years old, making well over six figures a year, 45% tax bracket. It, it was brutal. Oh well, yeah. yeah, that was my problem. I didn't have any write-offs. <laughs> you might want to like adopt some puppies or some foster kids or something. <laughs> oh, so it's lower now than it used to be. So, or okay, yeah. That sure was must have been after when the I, George Bush tax cuts. I saved my map and I loaded it. Map goes here. Mm -hmm. In the car, I loaded the map up to the car. Right, and then you saw the thing go. But, tsh, 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 but the titles, like, when I saved the, the, the file, it should be the. Should, that's how it should be titled here, right? right. I didn't see it. So. Uh, 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 Go to the map, like go back <laughs> and go to change the map, and it'll try to communicate with the vehicle in your face. You can view the maps on the car. Yeah, it'll just show map. On the AP map. <laughs> All right, Kane, I got uh, my new log. All right, Kane, I got that. That's in the back log. Hey, what's that? I got my new log. Alright, I'm going to give you control and you go ahead and uh, show me.